Hey guys, welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at a really cool vehicle from the Clone Wars line. Uh, one I've been waiting a long time to make a review on. I'm talking about none other than Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter. It's a really, really cool vehicle. Actually, I saw a couple of these at Walmart uh, last year, or a couple years back, I don't remember quite well. They were on sale. They were like uh, half price, half off. So, uh, I bought this ship and Anakin's uh, Starfighter. Now, I really want to get uh, Plo... Uh, no, not Plo Koons. This is Plo Koons, duh. Sorry. I want to get uh, Obi-Wan's and Confisto's. But uh, that's uh, a story for another time. The packaging... Or sorry, the package converts into diorama. Like so. Well, as it's shown in here. Very dusty. Well... We have another still image, and in the back we have a um, uh, small description or, or whatnot, and here we have the features. Well, here's a screenshot of the um, of how it actually looks in the Clone Wars series. Uh, two firing projectile launchers. The ship kind of splits up. Landing gear. Yeah, two vehicle modes. That's it. Now on to the actual ship. And I'm going to take a, a chance to review the Plo Koon figure as well. Here's the ship in all its glory. Very cool looking. It's got the firing missiles. Like so. The thing I shot those next to the, uh, close to the camera. Otherwise I would, uh, I would have lost them. And that is not a good thing to do. We have the cockpit. You can fit... Uh, I'm, I'm having an R2 from the uh, from the part of the Force collection, but you can fit basically uh, just about any uh, Clone Wars or no, regular Star Wars uh, droid or figure. Now here's the the uh, droid area, if you will. Uh, it has a seat. A seat. Uh, you can fit in a uh, clone trooper or any figure if you want. I used it to uh, to keep Master Plo's uh, accessories here, like his hood. And his uh, lightsaber gauntlet. So well enough about that. I w now I wish I had the uh, the R7 figure or the Plokins droid. I don't know uh, the the number or the designation. We have the uh, public logo. I wish I had it, but uh, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't find it in time for this review, so uh, if I do it in the near future, I'll, I'll show it to you. Here you have the, uh, the engines at the back, some more Republic logos, and for the cup of tea, the cockpit. And, and actually, I like this cockpit a lot because it's, uh, rather than being translucent, it, it's actually tainted. You can see the figure, but uh, you can see it from a distance only. So yeah, if we open up the cockpit, Reveals Master Plo with his lightsabers. Now, what's what's really uh, curious about this thing? What's really um, interesting about this thing, or what or odd, if you will, is that it has uh, this gear shifter. Well, not well, not a gear shifter, but uh, a lever or the flight controls or whatever. But the figure can't reach it. The flight controller. So. It's kind of weird. It, it's it's uh, I think it's a little bit of a design flaw, but well, that's that. Blokun, this Blokun is really really uh, great. It's actually the first Blokun from the uh, Clone Wars line. Buy it if you can find it. It's really really cool. Now, the only now that I remember the uh, mentioning the the R two, the only complete uh, set. I have is, is Anakin's Starfighter, which is the exact same mold with a repaint, uh, with the the Clone Wars uh, R two D two. Now, now that I mentioned this, this is actually uh, really interesting. If I'm not mistaken, this uh, well, first off, this ship is is named the Blade of Doran, and it's named after uh, Plo Koon's home planet, which is Doran. Now I think uh, Anakin gave this uh, this starfighter to to Master Plo as a gift, 
Um, and it's actually based off of uh, his uh, ship uh, as depicted in the Clone Wars first uh, first cartoon series. It's, it has uh, more or less the same paint scheme except for the uh, the accessories and quad laser cannons and modifications, but it's basically the same. This is Delta 7B, if not mistaken. Really interesting feature, if you just saw it. You can split the ship in two. Now this reminds me of the uh, Ada 2 Actis Starfires, the ones used in, in Episode 3. And this is, well, just a plain part of the ship. He has uh, another cannon, which fires a missile, like so. If you missed it, I'll do it again. And yeah, that's about it. And this works as a landing gear as well. So, But if you don't like the looks of it, just uh, put it back in. And voila. There it is. The Blade of Dorne. Really, really cool uh, Starfighter. Buy it if you can still find it. It's a really... Uh, it's a really uh, good design and paint scheme. It's, it's actually my second favorite of this uh, of this line. My favorite is Obi Wan's because of the uh, the paint scheme, the red and uh, cream paint scheme. It's really nice. Uh, now I've been I've been hearing a lot of complaints about the uh, the newer uh, Star Wars vehicles and ships. The um, for example the uh, uh, Compacted or reduced uh, Slave One. Well, I think it's it's good because uh, I didn't have a chance to buy the first Slave One from the Attack of the Clones, nor the uh, the Clone Wars ship, which, which which was basically the same. So I hope I can if I ever if I go to the U.S. I'll I think I'll buy it there because the, uh, they're really expensive in some areas. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I did. So, like I said, buy this one or, or any other figure in this, uh, figure not, sorry. Well, yeah, even so, the figures, but uh, any other ship in this collection. Uh, and, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the review. Till next time, take care, and may the Force be with us all. Later.